join me on a virtual journey through Velur Fort and Lord Shiva who lives under the water. One of the most unique and majestic forts built in India is the Velur Fort. It is considered to be Tamil Nadu's most important historical treasure. The Velur Fort used to serve as the headquarters for the Vijayanagara Empire. It was then transferred over the years to the Bijapur dynasty. The Mughals eventually to the British. The Velur Fort stayed under the British until India became independent. During the British rule, Tipu Sultan's family and the last king of Sri Lanka were kept as prisoners in this fort. The Velur Fort also stood witness to the brutal massacre of the Vijayanagara royal family of King Sri Rangaraya. The very first major military rebellion against the British rule also started at the Velur Fort in 1806. This fort was built by Timapa Reddy Nayak and Chinnabhumi Reddy who were the subordinate under Sadashivaraya of the Vijayanagara Empire. Constructed over a sprawling 133 acres, the Velur Fort is located amidst a broken mountain range. The fort is built on the banks of the river Palur in the 16th century and served as the headquarters of the Vijayanagar Empire. The beautiful surroundings of the fort attracts many people. The Velur Fort was also the scene of the famous Velur Sipoi Mutiny, commonly known as Oli the Velur Mutiny. The Velur Mutiny was the first major military rebellion in India by the British. The Velur Fort is surrounded by a deep moat with enormous, majestic walls for protection against enemies. The fort is formidable granite structure that is showcase of incredible architecture, science and technology of that era. The Velur Fort is one of the best examples of detailed military architectural styles of southern India. The great Jalakandeshwara temple is one of the oldest Lord Shiva temple located in the Velur Fort in the Velur district. This temple is a representation of Grand Vijaya Nagaram architecture which is around 1500 years old. A rich heritage featuring legendary temple Jalakandeshwara is home to Lord Shiva. Located inside Velur Fort in Tamil Nadu, the temple has rich structures and is home to greatly carved stone pillars buildings and more. This temple is worth visiting. The lingam in this temple was founded by Atri, one of the Saptarshis. It is said that there is water below this Shiva lingam. Hence, the name Jalakandveshara was given to Lord Shiva who graces here. According to local folklore, the Jalakandveshara temple in Velur Tamil Nadu has an interesting legend about its origin. The temple was initially an ant hill that was surrounded by rainwater. Devotees then placed a Shiva Lingam, a Hindu deity symbol, at the spot and began worshipping it. In the 16th century, Chinna Bommi Nayaga, who was in charge of the fort, had a dream in which God Shiva instructed him to build a temple at this location. Following divine guidance, Chinnabhamma Nayaka constructed the temple at the site. It has richly made stone pillars, wooden gates and much more. 
the entire temple is further supported with the dragon pillars and lion statue and more now the temple is a part of archaeological survey of india who controls and maintains this temple on entering the main shrine of jalakandeshwara temple i noticed a, a closed path around it and several sub shrines the sub shrines are dedicated to gods nataraja Ganesha, Srinivasa, Subramanya and Amman. Apart from these shrines, the temple has Madapalli, Yagashala and a small stepped tank. The highlight of this temple is that though the main god is Shiva, all three main gods of Hindus we can see here. I mean Lord Vishnu, Lord Brahma and Lord Shiva. This temple is a representation of Grand Vijaya Nagaram architecture which is around 1500 years old. After the time when Saptarshi Atri and worshipped the Lingam at this place, the location of the Lingam is covered with white bark acacia trees and the Lingam is covered with ant hill. Rain waters in the lower levels of the ant hill made a tank there. Vellur Fort is a very huge campus with very strong fort walls surrounded by bigger mot. Mot means uh, which was once filled with the crocodile. This is the place where the revolution against the British started first. We can walk on the fort wall completely to feel the strength and structure. Temple, I could not help but feel a sense of awe and reverence for the centuries of history and spirituality that I witnessed and experienced here. With the intricate carvings and the beautiful surroundings all left an impression on me. Visiting this place was not just a tourist experience but a truly understanding the rich culture of our country. Through time. I encourage anyone with an interest in history, culture or spirituality to make the journey to Vellur and experience its beauty.